All right, guys, I'm not a fan of long, boring, drawn-out video intros. You click on the thumbnail, you know what the video is about. We're going to paint our brake calipers today. I'm going to show you how to get a beautiful finish on them that's going to last a long time. And on top of that, you don't have to take off any nuts, any bolts, nothing like that. It's going to be the easiest job you can do. It's going to come out perfect. So stay tuned, and here we go. All right, guys, get started here with this job. We need some kind of abrasive here for these brake calipers. Uh, I'd recommend getting 150 and 500 here just to make sure you kind of smooth it out with the 500. Um, honestly, I'm going to use the drill here just because I have one. If you don't have one, the sandpaper works just fine. It's cheaper if you don't have a drill. Uh, but this, this wire brush makes quick, quick work out of those brake calipers, especially if they're real rusted out and old. Uh, you're going to need a plastic drop cloth. Honestly, if you don't feel like buying this, you can just get a trash bag, rip it in half. That'll work just fine. Um, some primer here, of course, and we're going to use some Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. Uh, I don't trust paint and primer. You always get primer. It seals a lot better. Uh, on top of that here, this is not heat resistant. If you look online, you will see some people like to use the heat resistant. I've been painting my brake caliper since I was 16. That's a little over 10 years now. Never had a problem. Don't waste your money. Brake calipers do not get that high, okay? Unless you're doing some street racing, doing some crazy hard braking, driving like a maniac, you're not going to need it. Uh, you're going to need some cleaner here. This is my favorite cleaner. I've been using this since I was 16 as well. Some no scrub black magic here. Uh, link's going to be in the description for all this stuff on Amazon. You can get it all at once and be done. Uh, you're going to need some Germex or some alcohol with some cloths, of course, for some cleaning. Cross wrench to get the wheels off and a car jack to get the car off the ground. So let's get started with the job, guys. So the first thing we're going to do before anything is we're going to get in the car and we're going to pull the e-brake up. And a good practice before jacking the front of your car up is to take these two back wheels and wedge a piece of wood in them. That way you minimize the risk of it rolling back on you. After we've got the e-brake up, what we're going to do is we're going to break these lug nuts loose. That way when we jack the car up, we're able to get the wheel off. A little trick I like to use here, take your car jack, take the uh, handle on it, put it over one of these, give you a lot more leverage. And after you got your lug nuts loose, what we're going to do is we're going to jack the car up. Now they you got your lug nuts loose and your wheels lifted off the ground, it's time to get them off. Alright guys, so after you got your wheel off, a little tip here to make your life a whole lot easier is take the whole hub here and turn it. It's going to make your whole life a whole lot easier. Um, you're going to be able to clean it easier. You're going to be able to paint it easier. You're going to do a lot better of a job. Um, if it doesn't let you do that with your hands, it just means your wheel lock's on. Just go in the car, put the key in ignition, turn it, but don't turn it on. Turn it to the point that it's about to turn on one stage before, and it'll let you turn it here with your hands. All right, guys. So next step here is to spray our No Scrub Black Magic Cleaner on there. Uh, let it sit for about five minutes and then wipe it off. It's already been sitting for about five minutes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it off now. All right, so after we got the wheel cleaner off the brake caliper here, uh, next job is to get as much rust as we can off. This one's not too, too bad. Um, you can use sandpaper, like I said earlier. Uh, this is going to make a lot more quick work, so let's get started. So now that our brake caliper is properly sanded, what we're going to do is we're going to take our Germex and we're going to take a rag and get it all over the place and we're going to clean every bit of loose dust up. That way we make sure our paint job comes out really nice. Alright, so now that our brake caliper is properly cleaned and ready to be sprayed, all we got to do is the prep. So what we're going to take here is our drop cloth or your trash bag, whatever you got here. We're going to make a slit in here. We don't want to make it the full length of the caliper here. Make about half. And we're going to use the elasticity of the bag here. Let's wrap around here.
Beautiful. So now we just got to tape it up. All right. And before we start the primer here, um, after we get everything wrapped off, there's three things that we do want to tape off. It's going to be this gaskets here, one and two. It's also going to be in here where your pistons are. And it's going to be right here where your drain line is. So let's wrap those three up with tape. All right, guys, we're ready to prime. So we're gonna take our 2X Ultra Cover Primer here by Rust-Oleum. We shake it up for about two minutes, and then the first coat here is always gonna be the lightest coat. So don't worry about coating everything. All right, guys. So the second coat here is gonna be considerably thicker than the first coat. So we're gonna get started here. Uh, in between coats, you want to wait about five minutes, the first coat five minutes. Uh, this next coat is going to be a little bit thicker, so probably give it about ten minutes here. And we're doing three coats total. Alright, so it's been about ten minutes. Let's put the third and final coat on. This is going to be our thickest coat. So that third coat of primer is officially dry. It's been about 15, 20 minutes now. We're gonna hit it with this Rust-Oleum Apple Red. Now, same thing with the primer. First coat is gonna be thinner. So the first coat's had about five minutes of dry time. Now we're gonna put on the second coat. This is going to be considerably thicker than the first. All right, this last coat, we want to put it on thick. Uh, you don't want to have paint runs, but you want to have enough paint that it's getting pretty close to a paint run. Uh, even if you do get a paint run, honestly, I'd rather have a paint run on my brake calipers than have them a little too thin. Uh, they're going to last substantially longer when this coat's thick, so be sure to lay it on there and don't be afraid. So I'm going to give it about 15 minutes for this final coat to dry here. I'm going to take all this wrapping off, throw the wheel on, and show you guys what the finished product looks like. And here's the finished result. Brake caliper really makes these black wheels pop. And if you're wondering how I got these wheels so nice and shiny, I actually just painted them. Uh, we came a long way here from this car. This is what it looked like yesterday. All peeled up, clear coat, real nasty looking stuff. I have a DIY video step-by-step -step process. How to get your wheels looking real nice, shiny, with a nice hard finish that's going to last many, many years. So I'm going to put the link in the description. You can go ahead and click on that and learn how to do that as well. Um, my goal with this channel, as you guys know, is to make the highest quality DIY videos out there, step-by-step -step process. I'm not going to have any crappy camera angles, no skip steps. Everything is going to be as high quality as I can get it. So I hope you guys subscribe and thanks for watching.